Hey guys, it's John from The Machine Shop. Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use digital inputs with an Arduino. So previously, we looked at digital outputs and analog outputs, and we used that little low pass filter. Today, we're gonna to look at digital inputs. So we're actually gonna get a button interface with the Arduino, and then we should be able to get it programmed to control a digital output from that input. You ready? No? You sure? Well, I'm gonna do it anyway, even if you're not. You'll have to watch this video when you are. For everybody else who's ready, let's go. Right, quick disclaimer, it is bonfire night. There's fireworks galore going on outside. Um, so if there are any big bangs and stuff, I do apologize. It is a firework, not me blowing up an Arduino. I know that might be fun, but that's not the case. Okay, so here's my setup. I've got my Arduino Uno connected via USB and I've got a breadboard here with a very clicky button on here. Now there's a couple of different ways in which you can connect a button to an Arduino. Um, essentially, the digital input is going to look for a change in voltage, uh, whether it's either going to be zero or in the case of the Arduino Uno, five volts. So when it's five volts, we're going to get a binary output of one or high or true, however you want to look at it. Um, and if the input is zero, then it's going to be zero or false, uh, again, however you want to look at it. So what we want to be able to do is when we press the button, it changes that value to whether or not that's high or low. So technically what we should be able to do is if we've got a five volt rail here and then that comes across and then we've got our button, little symbol there for a button and it comes across and here we've got our pin which is connected to our Arduino. Right, there's our Arduino. So what that would happen is here, when we press down on the button, this is going to connect together and create five volts and send it to the Arduino. And the Arduino is going to be, yep, yeah, that's one volt. Now, there is a slight problem with doing it this way. When this button isn't pressed, what value, what voltage is on this line? You'd think, well, it's not connected to five volts, so it's going to be zero, isn't it? It might not be. This wire here could essentially act like a big antenna and it could pick up on noise. Now, if you've got anything like high electrical stuff around you, I've got a big heater underneath my desk. When that thing clicks in, that's gonna create noise when it actually activates. So you could get noise on this signal. And if you get enough noise on this signal, the Arduino is gonna detect this noise as a one. So what we need to do is get it so that we know exactly what that's gonna be. And there's a couple of different ways of doing that. So what we can do is a thing called pull up and we use a resistor for that. So I could have my uh, five volt rail here. That could come down, go into a resistor, and then that goes into the switch, and then that goes down to ground. And what I do is I actually take the signal here that goes into my Arduino. Okay, so that goes into the pin on the Arduino. Now this is known as pull up, because what we're doing is we're pulling this signal high. So the current is gonna flow from here through our resistor, let's say this is uh, a 1K resistor, through our resistor and into our Arduino. So it's always gonna show a one. Until we press this button, what that means is all of the current at this point is then gonna go down to ground, our least path of resistance. So then the voltage here, what the Arduino sees, is actually going to be ground, because it's technically connected to ground. So then it's gonna record a zero. So it knows exactly what it's gonna be. If you're not pressing the button, we're gonna get a one, and if we're actually pressing the button, we're gonna get a zero. So that's pull up. So let's do exactly the same circuit, but we'll use pull down. So again, we've got our five volts here, and then we'll go through the switch. Then we've got a resistor, it's going to pull down to ground. And then we take this section here to go to our Arduino pin. Okay, so what that means is that all the time when we're not pressing the button, the Arduino is connected to ground through the resistor. Okay, so it's always going to see zero. When we press the button, it's going to connect our Arduino to our five volt rail. So then it's going to see a one. Okay, so let's have a go at implementing that circuit on our Arduino here, on our little breadboard. Okay, so we've got our setup, we've got our breadboard, and we've got our Arduino. I've got a resistor here, and I've got a bunch of wires. Okay, so let's get our resistor. I'm gonna take, let's do a pull-up to start with. 
So I'm going to take uh, one leg of my zip my switch here, and I'm going to go into the red the red line on my um, breadboard here, and I'm going to connect my red line. I'm going to use a white wire for red, obviously. Well done, John. And I'm going to connect that to my five volt rail on my Arduino. It's conveniently written on the side of my Arduino here, so that's connecting into there. Okay. Now the other side of my signal. If I remember, let me draw the uh, the thing for you again. So it's the here. We've got our five volts. That's going through a resistor, and then that's going into the switch, and then that's going down to ground. So it's being pulled up, and then that output is going to our Arduino pin. Okay. So what we want to do is we have, to have the other side of the switch connecting to ground. So that's going to go to there. And then we also then want to tap off from this signal here. So that's in between the uh, switch and the resistor. So the same point where the resistor attaches to the switch, I'm going to plug into pin 8. There we go. So that's going to be my input is pin 8. Okay, so now we've got our button. We can press it and we can see that all of our power LEDs, you can just about see that green LED there. A good test, press the button, make sure that the power LED is still lit up. You're not shorting anything out, our circuit looks good. Right, let's go over to the Arduino software and we'll have a look at C and getting this to do something and seeing the output, okay? Okay, so here we are, we're in our Arduino software. So you guys know you've already watched the video about um, the digital read and write, so you know that you've got to do a pin out to start with. So, uh, pin mode, oh, pin mode. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to have pin eight as an input. There we go. So what I'm also going to do is when I uh, press the button, I want my LED on the board to illuminate. The LED on the Arduino Uno is pin 13. So pin uh, mode, 13 I want to have as an output. Output. There we go. Okay, so now in my code bit here, I want to use, uh, can you remember when we did the um, the writing, we used digital write, that was to get the output to work. So to read an input, guess what it's got to be? Digital read. Now with these functions, it's quite handy, what they do is you can call digital read and what the pin is, and it will return what the actual value is. So if I do if digital read, and then I tell it what pin I want to read, I want to read pin 8, like that. So if digital read 8, uh, then, so now this is what happens if digital read comes back as it's being pressed. Uh, or that means that if digital read is coming back as a one, remember, then I want to do a digital write, oh, capital W for write, there we go, pin 13, which is my LED. Now, can you remember here, I've got a pull up circuit, so I've got the resistor pulling it high, which means when I'm not pressing the button, I'm going to see a one on my input or a high on my input, and when I do press the button, I see a zero. I want the LED to come on when I'm pressing the button. So here, uh, if I'm pressing the button, that's gonna my digital read is going to come back as a zero. So there, this is saying that if digital read comes back as a one, so that means I'm not pressing it. So my digital write, I want to set that to low. So I'm not pressing it, turn the LED off. Then what I can do is an else, and I put my squirrelies, there we go, else, Digital write. Oh, that was a good firework. 13, I want to set it to high. So that means that if you read this as a 1, turn it off, else set it to high. So what that should do is when I press the button, it turns my LED on. Let's send that over to the thing. Let's see if I got my code right first time. So it's compiling the sketch. Uh, ooh, taking a while to compile. There we go. Yeah, so it's happy with the compile and it's doing the upload. Okay, so on my board now, let me go back over to the overhead camera. So on my board now, just where my finger is, is where the LED is. So if I press the button, can you just about see, it's a very small LED, I'll give you that, but the LED is coming on. So it's reading my digital input and outputting on the digital output. 
Now, there's one other trick that I want to show you. What we can do is the Arduino, uh, especially the chip that's on the Arduino Uno, it's got a very special feature where it's got built-in pull-up. Now here, it, when I declare my input, I can actually input pull-up uh, with capital letters. P-U-L-L-U-P. There we go. So it changes to input pull-up. So now I don't need to have that resistor in place in my circuit. All I need to do is connect the switch to ground. So it's pulling it up inside the Arduino. All I need to do is have the input go to the switch and then to ground. So let me draw the circuit for you. So here we go. So the circuit now is just going to be our pin coming from our Arduino into the switch and then the switch connected to ground. No resistors required, no nothing. We just need two wires, one going to ground, one going to the Arduino. Let's implement that on here. So what we don't need is the five volt rail. Let's get rid of that. We don't need the resistor. All I need is my ground signal, which is this one here and the signal going to pin eight, which is this one here. So now it will be acting as a pull up. So let's go back into our code. I remember we need to change this. So now digital read eight is being pulled high. So at the moment, it's not connected to the ground. It's being pulled high, so it will turn it on. We don't want to do that because we're not pressing our button. So we want to set that to low. And then we else, when we press the button, we turn on the LED high. So let's send this over to Arduino and see if we've got it working. So uploading. Okay, so our board is currently showing no LED. And when I press the button, the LED comes on. Perfect. It's exactly what we want to do. Great. So we've been able to implement a digital input and a digital output on our Arduino. And I've also shown you a little trick of how to limit what kind of components that you need. Essentially, to get a digital input, you just need some sort of button and two wires. Very cool. All right, thanks for joining me on this video. If you like this video, hit the subscribe and the like button. Tell all your friends about it on social media. Whilst you're there, you can find us at Machine Shop UK on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Also visit our website, themachineshop.uk, where you can find links to all the videos and feature our online shop where we can sell loads of all this stuff to you, no problems. Grant, all right, thank you for joining me, and I will see you in the next fantastic Arduino video. Bye!